I am super excited. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Hey, ready? What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl The Notorious and to the I to the A and today we are back with yet another fragrance review and this time it is on this baby right here. This is Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. I told you guys in my March beauty releases that I could not wait to get my nose on this. So this released on March 21st and it was delivered on March 22nd. I didn't even realize how quick the delivery was today is march 23rd and i'm coming to you guys to give you guys my thoughts i am super excited to share my thoughts on this perfume because to me this was something pretty unique i had never really heard of anything like this on the market and maybe it just hadn't come across me but this was some definitely something i felt like i needed to try and it was definitely a gourmand that i was interested in if you guys don't know I am a Vermont girl as well as a warm floral girl so I like warm scents warm comforting scents that's where I'm comfortable I like to let you guys know that just so you know where I'm coming from when I make certain descriptions or when I say certain things about the fragrance that I like or that I dislike let's get into yum pistachio gelato 33 intense what is yum pistachio gelato 33 according to the description this is a delicious combination of rich nutty pistachio and hazelnut blended with rum that wraps you in a warmth and sweetness while a delectable and fluffy whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy intertwine into sugary indulgence. A truly yummy fragrance that charms with an unforgettable gourmand scent trail that will have you smelling good enough to eat okay that is definitely all me i love fragrances that make me smell edible i love fragrances that make me so warm and cozy and comforting so i am really excited to get into this so the notes in this fragrance are pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy now doesn't that just sound yummy like literally the name this is what the travel size looks like this is a travel spray and this retails for 25 dollars currently as i'm recording this video this mini size is sold out on sephora so the 50 milliliter retails for a hundred dollars and the 100 milliliter retails for 138 dollars Okay, let's get into the juice. We've waited long enough. Little moment of honesty, I have already smelt this because I did a first impressions for TikTok when I received it yesterday. So if you guys want to see my first impressions, make sure you are following me on TikTok because they tend to see things before I get a chance to actually sit down and make a video. It's just easier. I'm sorry. However, if you follow me, you don't have to miss out. Mm. okay off rip i can tell you that this is not going to be what you expected it to be um this definitely Ooh. okay although i have smelt this before it still catches me off guard just how different it is from what you're reading and what you might be expecting immediately i can smell the cotton candy and the marshmallow those are the first notes that i'm really picking up as well as that rum i think i am getting that now i'm not gonna lie i don't really know what the pistachio smells like so I can't tell you if I am picking up on those notes but I can tell you this is very sweet and delectable but it's also kind of light and airy I don't know how to describe it maybe almost like a powderiness maybe that's why it's coming off light and airy okay look I have purchased Kaali fragrances in the past but something about them always rubbed me the wrong way to where I felt like I didn't need to keep them. But this, I like this. 
<laughs> like you see, I can't stop smelling it. I do like this. Now, it is a very light Gourmand. And I know that sounds very weird to describe a Gourmand as light because Gourmands tend to be heavier scents. But this one is very light and airy. And I am surprised. I don't know what I was expecting, but this isn't childish at all. This definitely is a mature scent. It's just a sweeter scent. It almost has like a sweet sophistication about it. Like this is a sweet, sophisticated perfume. It's not just sweet and it's not childlike. It has a sophistication, a matureness, a mystery about it. Now, as it settles into my skin, I am getting a slight medicinal smell. I don't really know what that is. Um, it's not too off-putting. It's definitely something that, you know, I can wait for it to settle down more to see what it turns into. But I am getting something slightly medicinal. To me, this is different. It's not what you would be expecting. And it's perfect for the spring and even the summertime. But to me, this is what I would describe as a spring gourmand. It has that almost freshness to it, powderiness almost, that allows it to be lighter, more flexible going into the warmer months. And I feel like if you wanted to add some layers to this fragrance, you definitely could layer it with their vanilla 28. I personally do not own Vanilla 28, so I would probably layer it with Vanilla Woods. And I think that it would give it a more sweet and a more dense smell. But I'm kind of liking the airiness of this perfume. Like something about it is really refreshing to me while also still pulling Gourmand. I think Kayali did something with this one. <laughs> like this one okay like i like her she's she's calm she's subtle to me she's not too much oh she's there i this is different i like this i do feel like this is a everyday perfume it's very flexible where you could pair with things to make it lean one way rather than the other i remember kayali saying that their fragrances are designed to be layered so they do want you to play around with coming up with different scent profiles with their fragrances and i feel like with this you can definitely do a couple of different things and it will work out really nicely for you i would recommend this perfume to my gourmand girlies and even my clean scent girlies i think that this is definitely a lighter gourmand and a more clean gourmand and if you're somebody who loves clean and fresh scents I actually think this can be your entry into gourmand scents because this has a freshness and a softness to it that definitely read more clean and more fresh. Just don't go into it having the expectation that it's overly gourmand because it's definitely not. Let me know if you're interested in trying out Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. I would say go smell it for yourself. I will also say make sure you spray it on your skin and leave the store with it. Date the fragrance for a while, see how it sits on your skin, and then make a decision. Because as it's sitting on me, that medicinal smell that I described to you before is fading. So it is settling down into a more sweet gourmandy, like a light cotton candy marshmallow gourmand scent but so far i'm really liking the scent profile on this i don't know <laughs> if you guys have tried this fragrance definitely let me know what you think about it down below and i thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye